Dead air, Frank. Dead air. Hey, Dead air. Jeff, are we good? We're, oh, we're, we're oh. ready to go. Oh, sorry about that, people. <laughs> we're here. All right. Uh, so, uh, IFCO TV, uh, and don't worry about the outside because the mics pick us up perfectly. Okay, so that's yeah. fine. So uh, we're here with uh, Dr. Ron Castellucci, uh, a, a soon-to-be student coming down there All right. uh, to Sherman College. All There's right, so excellent. many people walking by us that you guys can't see in back of the camera, uh, so uh, our, our eyes might wander a little bit following uh, folks, but we're going to do a great job chatting with you. So let me just uh, say a couple words about you, Ron. Okay. Um, I, I see that you're the, the Associate Professor of the Clinical and Chiropractic Sciences at Sherman College. That's correct. You were twice named faculty member of the year. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. It cost me a lot. I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I discovered that the, the, you're a member of the IFCO and the ICPA. That's correct. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, Sherman College uh, Board of Regents. Yeah. And you're in private practice as well. So you do a whole, oh my goodness, yeah. you do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I just want to know uh, a little bit about your practice. Because uh, I, I know you, because when I was at Sherman College, you were one of the people who influenced me a lot. And I sort of patterned uh, my adjusting techniques after you by what you taught me and, and a lot of That's the communication cool. skills that mm -hmm. you shared with me. Yeah. Uh, so you helped me out a lot. So I want to just uh, share with the folks at home what you do in your office and then a little bit more about Sherman College. Well, um, I'd say my practice is very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing, nothing complex about it. Uh, I check people's spine and I adjust them. Um, the uh, my, my my emphasis is is to move a person to wellness care as quickly as possible. Right. And uh, we want to get new patients and keep the patients for the rest of their life. So uh, you talk about communications, and uh, one of the things that we don't do in our practice, uh, what people don't do in their practice, is tell people uh, tell their patients what 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 chiropractic is, and 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 where you're going with your care. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, they come in with aches or pains, right. and uh, I think it's very important from the very beginning to let them know that the next step. In, in, in your care, uh, after the initial portion of care, is uh, is lifetime care, lifetime wellness care, and yeah. so uh, so I do that right off the right off the bat. And my intention and my my emphasis uh, is always uh, moving somebody towards uh, a chiropractic lifestyle, if you will. Right. So um, uh, always take an opportunity to, with uh, with your patients, asking about children. So I do see lots of children in the office. Um, one reason that they know I do uh, teach for the ICPA, and I see children, uh, uh, and so so that's that's kind of known right. in the community. But uh, I ask them, uh, I, I ask them, well, have you thought about having your child checked for for subluxation? Right. You know? Yeah. You know, that, that's one of the, the main questions that I wanted to ask you yep. uh, because I do see you on Facebook. Uh, Quite often with pictures, and you're in Pittsburgh, and you're out, out west at some of the schools teaching yeah. some of the students pediatric, uh, not only maybe checking and adjusting, but a little bit of communicating. Yeah. So how do you communicate with the parents? Power the body, heals the body. All right, Jimmy Dubell, I know you know that voice. Uh, so how do you communicate with the parents when they might have children in the office, and how do you get them over that hurdle to say, well, why don't we have your child check as well? I think I think patients who are in the office, mm -hmm. uh, they're concerned about how I'm going to adjust their child. Right. Um, they understand the concepts uh, because we talk about that from the very beginning. Uh, the very first subluxation that we get is, is a subluxation uh, uh, due to the birth process, and if that's incorporated into your patient education mm -hmm. uh, from the very start, then your patients will understand that right. uh, that that their children may be subluxated as well. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the next step is how am I going to adjust them? And so I make sure that I let them know and I show them. Uh, how, how I'm actually going to adjust them. I ask them to give me their hand and I'll, and I'll just show them how we would make an adjustment. Exactly. Um, they understand the gentleness and, 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 and what we're going to do. Um, and, and, I, and also break down the barriers. It's uh, my fee system and it is, is structured that it makes it easy for the patients Absolutely. to bring their children. Yeah. So I take down all the barriers mm -hmm. and, and they take that step in it. So yeah, that, that's it works. Uh, your, your practice sounds just about mimics mine. I have see lots and lots of families, lots of kids, newborns, children, all the way from yeah. five days old is the youngest I've ever checked uh, in multiple times, yeah. and all the way up to the young adults. Uh -huh. And now I'm at the point where the children have grown a little bit, and they're deciding either to go off to chiropractic college, but some of the little bit older children that I checked when they were starting to be teens, yeah. now they're bringing children of their own. Oh, wow. So uh, I feel getting like old, I'm getting right? a little old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, can you just give like a little explanation of 
how you would explain chiropractic to a child because sometimes they're a little bit scared. Yeah. And so I know an adult will need to explain it might be in a little bit different way, but a child needs their own explanation. Can you maybe share that? Well, what I'll do is I'll, is I'll show them the spine. And yeah. I'll, I'll ask them, you know, it looks like a dinosaur, doesn't it? So at first they're, they're afraid to kind of touch the bones, you know, right. thinking, you know, but I say, it looks like a dinosaur. And I give them an opportunity to touch the spine. And I have a little baby spine that I, that I use and right, they'll kind right. of touch it and kind of touch it. You know, and then uh, and then what I'll show them is that these are like wires, you know, mm -hmm. they're like power switches in your body. And so when the power switches are turned off, your body doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Right, or right. Uh, you know, you and, and then I relate to the child like you you might not be able to jump or, or mm -hmm. you know uh, those those sort of play in the right. playground. You know, you can do things um, better. One of the things that I'll do before I even do that is is relate to the child. We need to build that relationship with the, with with our patients. Right. And so the way I'll do that is I'll ask questions. And when we do a case history, for example, mm -hmm. for an adult patient. We're going to ask them different questions that we would normally do with a case history, but with a child, they're, they're interested in lots of different things than adults. Obviously. Right, right. So, uh, so what I'll do is I'll ask them what their favorite color is. You know, what kind of things do they like? What's the name of their teacher? What's their favorite class? What kind of things do they like to play? And so, so we're building that rapport, building that relationship with our patients. Uh, you know, right? It sounds a lot like how I do things too, mm -hmm. and I go even more simple with the spine. I, I do show them the spine and I give them a, a chiropractic education yeah. and it's pretty amazing. But I'll, I'll misalign the spinal bone yeah. on the spine and I'll say, that's in the wrong place. Do you think that's yeah. good or bad? Exactly. And, and, and almost always they say bad because it's in the wrong place. Right. And then when we get it back to the right place, you think that's good or bad? Right. And they say, good. Yeah. And then I'll say, here's the, the, the kicker. If it's in the wrong place, how quickly do you want it in the right place for? Right. And then many times they'll say oh, right away or right now or, or really yeah. fast and they'll do all these things that are great answers. And then I'll say, how long do you want to stay in the right place for? And, and they'll think about it and they'll say forever. Exactly. And, and, and it's great answers. And so that's how you educate right. the, the child also. And, and that's what I do in the office. And it just sounds like we're doing you can, the same thing. You can do the same thing with your adult patients. Um, I do. You know, you know, we talk about misalignment. We talk. We want to use fancy words. But right. why not tell the patient that your adult patients, this bone is in the wrong place. Is it? Do you think it should be there? Right. Uh, and invariably, their answer is no. It shouldn't be there. Do you want it to be there? No. Well, let's put it in the right place. So instead of using those big words that we use uh, with, with our right. patients, let's make it real simple. And it's not talking down to them. No, it's, it's just not. helping them understand, building that bridge from where you are, mm -hmm. all right, from where they are to where you want them to be. Right. And make it simple for them. Yep. And we always, uh, when we do things simply, we're always staying congruent Absolutely. with chiropractic. That Absolutely. makes it very simple for me, at least. Right. And uh, I know. Uh, uh, Guys at home, uh, Doc Ron gave a, a great presentation uh, Thursday morning yeah. on uh, ethics and spinal screenings. And it just happened that I followed up and I did another talk on spinal screens as well. So it kind of fit kind perfectly. Of well together. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah. So I think we should take the show on the road and, mm -hmm. and do a couple things together. Yeah. That Yet might another be thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> just keep on adding. Up. As long as we're giving back to the profession, yeah. that's the important thing to me. I know yeah. it's important to you as well. I'm having fun. Yep. Uh, so, uh, why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about um, uh, when you're adjusting the babies? Like, yeah. like, like, what's that like? Because some, uh, I come across some of the students that are visiting my office after yeah. they graduate, and they see me checking and adjusting the little ones, and and they're scared to. And I said, you don't have anything to be scared about because you have the skills to adjust. You know the forces to put in. Yes. Uh, so, well, what's that like for you? It's it's well, it's awesome. I mean, yeah. you know. Um, uh, we always, I always err on the gentle side when I'm working with children. Uh, we have techniques that I'll teach at the college, uh, but also teach in the ICPA program that are very gentle, very specific uh, techniques, very subluxation oriented. So they're not global types of adjustments that we do. They're very specific to that to that segment. Right. Um, the the key I think with uh, children is not only to be gentle and have good uh, good techniques, but also to uh, to know when that child is subluxated. Right. Um, I teach in one of my in my module. I teach muscle palpation, which is looking for muscles that are attempting to correct the subluxation. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a window into the innate intelligence of the body. A absolutely. Um, muscle palpation is uniquely taught at Sherman College. I don't think yeah. anywhere else. That, uh, that's how I check the spine. Exactly. Probably like even more important yeah. than 
is the bone moving well and right. that's the muscles. Right. And uh, and so when we have an active muscle trying to correct that subluxation, yeah. that we know exactly the line of correction and where that bone needs to be, where the body wants to bring that bone. Right. right. And so uh, so the adjustment then is uh, is is probably the easiest part to do. Yes. Uh, the most challenging thing with kids is that they wiggle. So yep. you need to examine them or, mm -hmm. or, or check their spine in between the wiggles. Right, and you have right. to adjust them in between the yeah. uh, In your um, expertise opinion, what's the best way to check a little one? Uh, I, I've done it a whole bunch of different ways in the office. Mom holds them on the shoulder. Sometimes they lie on mom's belly. Even sometimes I'll have mom stand on the side of the table overlooking and, and I'll sit right. on the table at, at, at the head of it. I think the best way to, to the best way to adjust them and address this is mm -hmm. uh, is to meet them where they're at. Yeah, um, I have a, uh, a a play area in the office. Uh, it's the Brio trains, and so the kids like to uh, play with, play with the trains. And so um, sometimes they don't want to leave that. They, they're they're there, and they just don't they, they get adjusted regularly. But right, they just right. want to leave the that, that play area. Yeah, you know they may be a little grumpy that day. Mm -hmm. And so what I'll do is I'll go out into the reception area. And I'll actually check their spine while they're standing playing with the trains. Perfect. So uh, you just meet them where they're at. Yep. I, and I think that's a, a perfect analogy. It, it's you're trying to get them calm mm -hmm. wherever they can stay the most calm because sometimes they don't want to lay on the chiropractic table. They're scared of it. Absolutely. And, and I always have kids coming up and they, they do this. They, they touch the table yeah. they, to see if it's safe. Yeah. And then they'll put their hand on it. And then they try to model after either if they have old, older siblings or their parents. Yeah. And then they go up and while mom or dad's getting your spine check, then they hold mom or dad. Right. And, and eventually that's them learning to that it's safe. That's right. And, and you're not going to hurt them. You're not going to harm them. And, and you're, oh, oh, we're on the film, we're on camera. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we are? We're on camera? <laughs> yes, I didn't know yeah, that. We're, we're on camera. No, uh, there, there's, that's going to happen all day, folks. Uh, so um, <laughs> people are going to be walking by, uh, interrupting. And it's just part of it. And, and I love it. That, that's, that's what I love right. being live. That's cool. Because you can hear, I'm not sure if you can hear everything in the background. Uh, I know these mics are very, very good quality mics. So they pick us up and they try to not... Yeah. bring in the outside noise but you can hear it sometimes right, right. Uh, okay so Ron uh, yeah. we're getting close to the point where can you tell people how to contact you if they want to have more questions about pediatric adjusting they can contact me through Sherman College okay um, you can just go on the Sherman College website my email is in it's a drop-down menu my email you just look for faculty email me emails and my email address is rcastellucci at sherman.edu. Right. Um, I have a website which I'm kind of working on, um, and it's called babyspines.com. Babyspines.com. And I'm starting to add more content, and I'm adding more resources. One of the things I'd like to do is add some videos. Right. So take a look at that, and we'll see some videos of me right. adjusting babies. Oh, that And, be uh, and some, some of the notes and some information and whatnot uh -huh. about adjusting children. Well, I'd love to maybe help you out with it if I can uh, somehow. Maybe we can uh, get some videos of you adjusting oh, maybe I'll send some down to me if, uh, if you okay. want to put them on that's fine That'd be great. Um, I'll get us some videotape of um, me educating the child That'd be perfect. Yeah, that, that'll be perfect because I do it I'll tell you what guys I do a great job with the kids <laughs> I, I have I have probably just as many children in the office as I almost have uh, adults yeah. I taught uh, you well right? and and <laughs> it, it's it's just amazing when yeah. when someone says here check my child That's amazing. It, it, it's the most important precious gift that that a, a, a parent can have and they're letting you put your hands on them to improve their health I agree. Uh, and uh, I know uh, on the other side of the camera is Jeff Bradbury yeah Jeff just had triplets oh my goodness just had triplets he looks great after yeah, having triplets. he looks great right having triplets <laughs> and I've already checked their spines too awesome. uh, so he gave me that that blessing that opportunity and, and so it's wonderful I like that. uh, That's so great. so Ron uh, we're, we're about finished okay uh, do you have anything else that you think the viewers would want to know about either yourself Sherman College or um, checking, adjusting the little ones. Well, um, what I'd like to do is, is, you know, invite them to Sherman's Lyceum, which okay. is next weekend. Absolutely. Um, and uh, get involved. I think uh, uh, Dr. Schubel was talking about that. Yes. Getting involved in things. Um, you know, find out what's passionate for you. What do you What are you passionate about? Right. You know, what do you What do you What What, what gets you excited? You know, yeah. and, and follow that. Um, uh, become exceptionally good at what you do. Right. And, right. Um, and you'll love life. Yeah, and find out what you love to do. Yep. And now you can go to Sherman, you can oh, yeah. uh, become part of the ICPA, you can become uh, part of the IFCO. One of your 
political organizations and do something for the profession. Oh, yeah. and, and, and they'll find things for you to do. They, they definitely will. And you just let them know what you're interested in, and, and, and that's, that's the best part. I, I love doing this stuff. I also uh, love getting involved a little bit more in different parts of the profession. Absolutely. Uh, next up, uh, Ram, I know you know her. We have Jillian Kirsch coming right. up with uh, the Roar program. Good. So we're going to be talking about that in a couple moments. Uh, I think that, that's everything. Uh, okay. Ron, I think this is great that you shared pediatric um, checking and adjusting and educating mm -hmm. because we haven't had that on the program yet. And so, so it's a great uh, education for the folks at home. And uh, thank you for coming out. You're welcome. Yeah, Ron. Yep. It's been a I'll pleasure. See you next time. Enjoy yeah. the rest of New Beginnings. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys chat right later on. Yeah. All right. All right. Good, thanks thanks for coming out. Yep. Take thanks, care, guys. Ron. Yep. All right. That was uh, Ron Castellucci. Uh, we are on IFCO TV. Uh, we are going at it live. Uh, next up is going to be uh, Jillian Kirsch with Roar. And uh, guys at home, uh, if you can hit us up on our Twitter feed, it's uh, IFCO Cairo. Uh, and then also using hashtag IFCO. Uh, if not, if you're on Facebook, uh, just use our, our Facebook account on, and post something up there. We're monitoring it. If you can, post it on your own webpage. Uh, and we are live. That will be the website, ifcocairo.com slash live. All right. We're going to take a couple moments.